All right, I'm here with MacArthur High School's Unity Club, uh, their Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Club, and we're here with a couple of members. Oh, well, I am Jeff Dace, the Assistant Superintendent of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Decatur Public Schools. So we'll go around and let some of the members introduce themselves. Um, hi, my name is Isaiah Mia. I'm a junior at MacArthur High School, um, and I'm the president of this club. Nailed it. Uh, okay. My name is Yaya Sali. I'm a senior at MacArthur High School, and I'm part of the Middle Eastern community, and I'm the vice president of the club. Hi, I'm Lindsay Reyna. Um, I'm a junior at MacArthur High School, and I'm Hispanic. My name is Laura Jones. I'm a junior at MacArthur High School, and I'm African American. My name is Tina Ray, and I'm a TA here at MacArthur, part of the Unity Club, and I am African American. My name is Leslie Diaz. I'm a junior at MacArthur High School, and I'm Hispanic. All right, so we're just going to have a discussion about the club and what you all have been doing and representing and how you feel about it this year. But before we do that, I have to clown this entire group. They told me to wear my shirt, but none of them have their shirt off. So. <laughs> They got a nice unity shirt. Yeah, y'all should feel bad. Like, man. But yeah, I they have a nice Monday, unity shirt. So I'm representing for them. <laughs> he's trying to clown us, but he's not even showing it off. You got to show the What man. you mean? You, you don't even off. have yours on. <laughs> you got to show yours off. All right, all right. Let me have on the back. Together we are. All. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so um, Unity Club. How does it feel to be a part of this this club this year? And all of you don't have to answer oh. each question. You can just go. Prez, President, go ahead. Well, it's definitely something different from like the last two years of me being here. Um, I've gone to know a lot of new people for sure. Like Miss Tina, she's very cool. But it's, it's something for real very special. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to chime um, in on that one? I want to give a shout out to Mr. Wiggins because without him and Miss Tina, this entire unity group in general would not be a thing. He has been really pushy with us with this because mm -hmm. without him being pushy, none of us would be able to actually do anything. Um, and I think it's a very nice thing with him to do and show us, give us out to show people. I mean, you know, recently I just ended up joining. And so when I'm in there, it's like a whole bunch of people. And I'm just like, well, I didn't expect this many people to be involved in this. So I was really happy to know that there was even more people than I expected. All right, all right. So when we're talking about diversity, equity, and inclusion, I think something that you all just touched upon is like inclusion, which that also goes along to feeling a part of the school culture. And we'll get into specific cultures lately. But do you all feel like included, like this is your school, like you have a voice here? at MacArthur High School? Before starting the club, not really, because we never had a advocate for us or anybody that knew our, of our issues or for like holidays and stuff. Mm -hmm. But recently with Mr. Wiggums helping us out and getting the principal involved and stuff, it's been really, it's been better than it usually is. All right, cool. That's what we want, improvement. We know we're not mm -hmm. gonna change the world overnight, but as long as we see some improvement. Yeah, I agree too. Like I wasn't like before this. I it was like we were just invisible. It was just like nobody, none of us was seen. And actually, Mr. Wiggins invited me to a meeting where all the teachers were at. Like it was like a whole teacher meeting on a Wednesday, mm -hmm. and they got to hear, they got to hear me speak and others from the members. Oh, okay. So you all spoke in front of the staff. Yeah. Oh, so this is nothing for you then. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anybody else? If I'm being honest, in the very beginning, I had told, like, I was being honest, Mr. Riggs, I was like, I don't think you should do this because a lot of us are, like, hidden away. Like, we don't want to be seen, but because we know we're, like, not different, but we know we have different things, like, different cultures, do things differently, and typically people like that get made fun of. And I had told wow. him since the very beginning, like, I don't think it's a good idea because you're going to attract attention to us, and it could possibly lead to not something good. But so far nothing has happened. I think it's a good thing that this is happening and I think it's good for us. Uh, that's great and that goes back to, because I definitely was going to touch on that about some issues that you all may have had. But 
I don't think, I think people underestimate that to say, a lot of times people just want to go under the radar. I don't need a, to be in a limelight or whatever. And so you're saying this is something positive, but even after, even from something positive, something negative can come from it, depending on the people. But it's, it's good that you said nothing has happened. That means, you know, there's some respect, mm -hmm. some respect for the organization and for the club. So what are, what are you mentioned like issues. What are some of the issues? So for, for Muslims, mm -hmm. our Muslim community we have in MacArthur is small, but we do um, like places to pray or during our holidays like Ramadan, um, just while we were fasting, we never really had a place to go or just to escape the lunchroom from all the food and stuff. And on our holidays, we like nobody really knows about them and they like are not educated right. and ask like really ignorant questions and stuff. But those are like really the major stuff that we okay. can have problems with. So yeah. have you have and you seen that, improvement well, in that? One okay. thing I want to say about that is I feel like there's a lot that I want to know about their religion because I have a friend and she fasts and I'm like, is it okay for me to eat this around you? And she's like, because I, I personally, if I was like fasting, I'd definitely be hungry. And I'm just like, <laughs> should I eat this around you? Should I not? Because they don't teach us a lot about other religions. They teach us a lot about African history in school. And I know a lot about that because I personally am black. But I don't know a lot about other religions and cultures. Yeah. Which I want to know more about that, which is why being in this group is kind of, you know, helping me understand more. And and that is that is pinpoint of what we're trying to accomplish as well. I remember the first meeting that I came came to that you all had, and one of the young ladies said, hey, it's not all about black and white. Like, there are other, you know, ethnicity groups and stuff that representation and you know have issues or that we should learn more about and that's when I brought up like the units of study like you all really should be learning about other ethnicity groups and their roles and contributions to history so not only so that's an area of development for us as a district as well that we get more exposure to other ethnicity groups and not just African Americans or black and whites because there's there's more out there than that. I'm funny, man. I know you're not funny. You just I, just, I, don't know. I can't I can't take it seriously. All right, okay, uh, that's good because he was a little nervous over here. So at least he's he's coming out. Um, now we're about culture, you know. So you all are from different cultures, um, backgrounds. Let's start off with, with school culture. How would you describe your school culture? School culture, I feel like when you say school culture, I think of clubs and a lot of fun stuff outside. Cause I personally am in a lot of clubs. Okay. And I know that there's different, a whole bunch of different personalities, races, all that in there. So you're getting a lot of that at once. Okay. And with school culture, I just, it's not, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think our school really has a culture because we have a mix of everything. I don't know, you know. Okay. Anybody else? No, nothing forced, nothing forced. Um, what are some things about like your culture? Because one of the things when we talk about the learning process um, and when we mentioned different ethnicities, what are some things like people don't know about your culture that you probably would want them to know? If you had your opportunity to put it out there, and you already mentioned some of yeah. the, some of the things that people are miseducated about, yeah, yeah, I would want people to know that it's okay to ask, it's okay to be curious, it's okay to do all that. It's not okay to hold that in, and then in the midst of it, you say something that offends somebody that's part of my culture or whatever, things like that. But just know it's okay to ask about anything. But I feel like people ask questions like rudely or like. They don't phrase it respectfully. Yeah. Like it will come off wrong, even if they're not intentionally like bad or ill will. It it will just come off like racist or really ignorant. Yeah, like when they always ask me, "Do I play basketball?" Yeah, like and that's how you know it's um black I mean, folks play basketball. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> they, they ask me to play soccer. Yeah, yeah. that's so stereotypical. Really? People. Yeah. 
I wish that they would. And it sucks because we actually do play soccer. Right. But to come off as like, you know, when they start off like that is that is all we're known for something. Yeah, you can take that. You can take that offensive. Sometimes it's offensive. Sometimes I think I take it like, but it's like nice to be like known that like, oh, like they're really into soccer. Soccer has become really big mm-hmm. in like general. I personally love soccer. Soccer, like I just one of my favorite sports. So sometimes I can. It just depends how it's said. Uh, but you you also said something key is about intent and even in this role as diversity equity inclusion i've made a lot of mistakes but you know i've had to say hey i apologize that wasn't my intent so a lot of times because if you don't know you know you may say something that's offensive or wrong in a certain setting but as long as you're not intentionally trying to hurt someone's feelings and respecting that so a, a good part about this is Respecting other people's differences, you know, and and being open to learning learning more about. Like I said, we're not going to change the world overnight, but we just want people to be more open about things. Mm-hmm. Um, now, equity equity is is you know a lot of people get confused with equality and equity sometimes, but I just like to say equity is meeting individual needs. So if you were struggling in something, your struggle may be different from your struggle. So. We want to make sure, A, how do we differentiate to make sure we're meeting your needs and we're meeting your needs and it's not just saying, hey, everybody in here needs to do this one thing because you may not need that. So do you feel like when we talk about school culture and everything that your needs have been met within uh, within your educational experience here, here in Decatur Public Schools? In educational? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, this is- this is a really touchy subject because I did previously state that I didn't know a lot about queer culture and I wish that I could know more was just the as group of helping out with that. Like as a class or even doing more clubs like this, it doesn't have to be just every single day, but once in a while, maybe you could, or like a whole group of them could just come and teach us about it. Cause All right. What's, hey, what's wrong with that is is the students actually teaching the other students. Actually, you all listen to students more than you listen to adults <laughs> sometimes. So uh, I, think, I think that's a great idea, yeah. Because you all are actually the teachers of your culture. You know the most about it. So what's wrong with you all, you know, giving a symposium or a workshop and just, you know, making it, it doesn't have to be mandatory, a volunteer and tell about your heritage and you know things that are specific and highlights about about your specific culture about about, about your educational needs has your educational needs and everything been met i feel like that has a lot to do with me like it depends it's a day that i don't maybe i don't want to do anything in this class or you know maybe i don't want to learn that day oh, like, no, you ain't say that like, you ain't say that did you <laughs> like it's just like Sometimes I don't feel like doing anything. Sometimes I don't feel like going to school, but I still come. Okay. And I mean, that just has a lot to do with me as a person and not the school's fault. Like teachers, I'm pretty sure they all come here with a plan ready to teach us and mm-hmm. all that. It's just the student. Yeah. You have to know when. There and, are there know. are some teachers. Some that teachers really don't care. Yeah. Don't care at all. <laughs> oh. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that they come and try to do what they have to do, but. What do you think about the students? You think they all care? No. <laughs> I think they're not. talking more about the fact that like, the teachers have the kids bored. So like, if us as students came in and taught them new things, right. different things, different subjects, yeah. it would be a lot easier to catch their attention for them to be off their devices. And in general, like I just feel like it'll be different or better. And Which brings in another another concept sometimes you all get bored with the same thing right yes yeah Yeah. so you know seeing the same teachers that's why a lot of times students get excited about a guest speaker or whatever Mm -hmm. coming in it's like something different we're going to find something different so it may not necessarily be the i guess it gets mundane and you get into routines so you want something different from the teacher in that aspect. So, but that's good. Hopefully some teachers see this and that's good for teachers. It's like, hey, switch it up. 
change yeah. it up, you know, and we like we like different things. When I'm talking about we put myself in your shoes, mm -hmm. you like you like different approaches and stuff. Um, what are some highlights about your culture? If you had to go out there in the street and be like, yeah, this is what we're known for, what would you what would you say? I what would you want to highlight? How we dress. A big thing, well, yeah, that. I say a big thing in like Hispanic cultures, we have a bunch of family. Yeah. A bunch of family, oh. and I, I, yeah. Even in, yeah. Our, in Middle Eastern cultures, I love, big I love that our families like come together as big groups and can like all get along sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I love that like they can come together, have parties for like, like here in May when I graduate, me and a bunch of other, my, I have seven other cousins that are graduating something else. So we're mm -hmm. all planning on having this huge what, party. like from this school? No, oh. from like college. I got a um, Yeah. Um, <laughs> Hair stuff, you know. So we're actually planning right now to have like this huge party for all of us because we're all graduating, and it's just all all my family. Okay. And it's nice to have a bunch of family that like you could just hang out with. Yeah. I think that's a big thing in Hispanic cultures. Also, mm -hmm. the quinceañeras when yes. yeah, girls, I remember those. The girls turn fifteen and we have this big dress and the big party. Those are so cute. Did y'all yeah. do that? Did I had she one. had one. Oh, okay. oh, so that's at age 15. Yeah, that's age 15. Okay. It's not like sweet 16. It's age that's it's another thing that. with like religious things, how she's Catholic. Catholics are more into that. Mm -hmm. um, most Christians do that, but I I didn't do that. But she is a Catholic and she had, that's what they, they, they yeah. Church. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're from the same ethnicity group, however you have different religions. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so differences within the same. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Also in like Middle Eastern countries, like how people think all Middle Easterns are Muslim, which is not true. Some are, in especially in Yemen, there are Christian Yemenis or even Jewish Yemenis in Yemen, which is not which is, which means like it's not <laughs> it's not all Muslim. It's not all just one thing. There is even diversities between neighborhoods mm -hmm. or I mean like cities how different dialect how <laughs> no I get it I mean yeah. it goes like, back to it's yeah, differences even, within yeah, the same there's like yeah. different cultures even in Yemen like yeah between cities between even like sometimes towns yeah and we just look at the outside appearance and physical and lump everybody Why together everybody the same. yeah but I will tell you that's something you know even as a African American and black that we admire about um, the Hispanics is like the family the and the connection because I'm gonna be honest I wish I wish we could be more like that as a as a race um, that shows that's that inclus inclusivity within your um, heritage and stuff so that's something that even African American and blacks look look up to so yeah. I'm not saying we don't have great cookouts and stuff, but it's nothing like a big family that can actually get along and just make a heart melt. That's yeah. like it to me. No drama, right. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some joys about and it could be I'm gonna ask you just school. <laughs> what are some what are some joys about Life school? Skills games are just like it's um, so those, those get kids really excited. Oh yeah. Like it's, it's more of the excitement to get out of class. Right. But when you can go to the life skills game. Yeah. yeah we don't get a lot. Well, it's of like trying to get out. It's like a cool thing to I see. I mean, like, dang, you act like you're in jail or something. <laughs> <laughs> like we don't, we don't. The only time we have a game is after school. Not everybody can go to things after school. They have to work or go home immediately and stuff like that. And it's not like they can try, but some people just can't. Okay. I don't know if it's more like that. I think it's more like they show us, I don't know how to explain it. It's something different too. Like it's not just like legit um, different schools going against each other, actually competing. Like these kids are having fun. Okay. They're having fun doing what they're doing. And I like to see that they're having fun because you could tell like they actually like to go and play and shoot baskets and stuff like that. And that's, that's, you know, going to see them and that's respect. This is um, essential skills and stuff, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My so skills. respect for their disabilities and mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a lot of people don't like to talk about that, whatever, but it's a part of life. Yeah. And, and as I said, you know, as long as you respect it, um, yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. So that's, that's good. It's 
Good. Different different people. You know, we all to a certain extent have some type of disability. But mm-hmm. all right. So like the homecoming this year, which y'all like the evening one today. Ain't that the one today? Homecoming this year? Y'all have a homecoming series? Homecoming. Oh, yeah, prom? Prom. Prom. No, we have both. Yeah. Just prom. Okay. They may be planning or something for it right now, right? Okay. All right. So, um, going back to where we started, if you had to sum it up in the Unity Club, how would you describe? How would you describe it? How do you feel about it? A couple of words. I think I love to see people that I've never even seen in the school from different places come. Okay. And learn new things. All right. But let me go to, but look at this statement on the on the board. So it says we already touched on culture, which is belief and traditions. But look at that second one. Decatur Public Schools is committed to equity, excellence, and holistic development of students, as well as acknowledging the unique backgrounds of staff. How do you think we're doing as a district as far as fulfilling that? I think well, we're knocking it out the park, or this room for improvement. There's definitely some that's improving. Okay. Okay. Help spread the word. Help spread the word. So, utilizing this to, you know, like expand at the other schools and stuff. Because I think you all are really, really are a model for for the district. So I I would commend you all on that. As far as when I see the involvement, when I come to your meetings, you know, you already have the design, and I see some enthusiasm and stuff. So. I think it's definitely a foundation to build upon for a model for the district. You gonna say something? What about you? How do you feel? Like, how do you feel about this whole thing? Oh man, I, 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 I really, no, that's a good question. And thank you for asking. I feel excited because I see a lot of things that you know. This is my fifth year with in this district, and I see a lot of things that I have not ever seen around the schools as far as awareness and everything um, of diversity, equity, and in- inclusion. Uh, we definitely have, you know, some room for improvement, you know, um, more schools dealing with our policies and procedures to make sure that we're being equitable with everyone and meeting, getting, getting as close as possible to meeting each student's needs and regardless of where they're at. And that can be hard. That can be hard when you talk about teachers, especially at the high school level, when you have multiple classes of 20 students or more and meeting their individual needs, but that's what we take on when we're in the education field. You know, our job is to make sure that you get out of here as prepared to reach your full potential. And that's not easy, but you know, so I, 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 feel, I feel excited about the, the work that I've seen come from these clubs and come from <laughs> my department <laughs> this school year. <laughs> For real. All right, so um, any closing remarks? Do we have another question on the About what? I don't know. <laughs> from Friday? Did yeah. I think I, I asked oh. you, oh, how do you feel when, when people ask about your oh. Oh, religion yeah. or your good. ethnicity? That's where I said that. Yeah, she asked, she asked. And I think you answered it too. It was like people yeah. ask, but sometimes it comes, up as, it yeah, comes right. off as like ignorant or whatever. Like I like answering questions about my religion and educating people, but sometimes it's, they're not, I'm gonna put this, just understanding of it. Right, and that's where that teacher thing comes yeah. in that you need to teach us more about other religions other than black and white, because black and white is not all that's in the world. I know that has a lot to do with it, but it's not the only race in the world. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, I think you all have given us some good insight about how you feel about being a part of the club and some things as a district and as a school that we can improve upon. And pretty much, that's that's what this is about. We want your voice in the process because I like to say, you know, a lot of times adults make decisions about kids or students and it can be totally off in left field. And once it gets to you all, you like, who thought of this? We don't want this, or <laughs> this is not us. So that's why we want to make sure that your voice is, in, is involved in the decision making. Yes, this is a club, but we want you all eventually to sit down and say, 
If it's something coming new to the school or to the district, give us some insight. Say, yeah, that's good, or that's garbage. Don't do that. So, but thank you all for your voice, and I appreciate your time. All right? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right.